is going to be over the coming weeks. Hopefully it's weeks. Um, it's the impact of the coronavirus really here as well. And uh, you were actually, you're getting quite used to that, aren't I you? I like these chairs, I have to say, Sally. They're <laughs> really comfortable. You're sort of sitting back there relaxing. <laughs> I know, I forget the weather. I'm just going to be sitting here all day. <laughs> all right, let's get on with the weather, shall we? Yes, let's take a look at your weather pictures. Colin Lennox Gordon photographed cows in the sunshine in North Dorset. Kay Lowe took this shot of a red kite soaring the skies of Bicester. And Colin Lee captured ducks on the River Avon in Fording Bridge. We had a good deal of sunshine through the course of today. Temperatures rose just into double figures, slightly below their seasonal average because we do have an east to southeasterly breeze. But this beautiful shot of the sunrise was captured in Selsey by one of our weather watchers first thing this morning. Also blue skies in Hamworthy in Poole photographed by our weather watchers well we've had some lovely photos do upload photos to the weather watchers website and we'll hopefully put them on tv for you this week will be dry with lots of sunshine but fairly unsettled over the weekend with perhaps some wintry showers come sunday overnight tonight we're expecting clearing skies and with the clear skies and the fairly light winds there may be a touch of frost particularly for northern parts of the region here we'll see temperatures drop into minus figures but along the south coast above freezing now we could see lows in northern parts of around minus four celsius last night we had lows of minus four degrees in oxfordshire through the day tomorrow, after a frosty start, there will be a lot of sunshine. Maybe some hazy sunshine for northernmost areas with high cloud feeding in later on, but it's definitely a lovely day to get out in the garden. Temperatures will be up to around 13 or 14 degrees, a few degrees up from today, and that's because the winds will be slightly lighter than today fresher along coastal stretches. So on the inshore waters tomorrow, the winds are east or southeast, three to five. The weather is fair, the visibility is good, and the sea state is slight. Now tomorrow night will be very similar to tonight. We're looking at clear skies, chilly temperatures, perhaps into minus figures in some areas, minus three, minus four in the countryside. These are values in towns and cities. So it may be a frosty start for some first thing on Wednesday morning, but another decent, sunny and dry day. This weather front over the north may affect us over the weekend. That's one to watch. But during Wednesday, we'll have fairly light winds. They'll come in from the east or the southeast. The winds slowly changing direction as we head towards the weekend. But this weather front will sink its way southwards come the weekend, and that will produce some showers during Saturday which may turn wintry come Sunday so we may have some sleet even some snow showers over higher ground on Sunday and temperatures into next week fall away but we'll still have lots of sunshine. Sally. That's looking good all that sunshine there. Alexis thank you very much. Uh, the main national headline for you this evening the government considers further emergency powers to slow the spread of coronavirus after concerns the public is ignoring advice about social distancing and uh, we can expect uh, a statement from the Prime Minister around about half past eight this evening. Uh, that's it from us. We met more at 10.30 and we're back here tomorrow. Join us then if you can. Good night. Good night. Thank you.